facilitated by associate producer Jenny Radelet. I'm Elvis Mitchell. It's the treatment. You're listening to All Things Considered from NPR News. There are calls for Hello? reform. Hey, Beth, it's Toby. Oh, hey. Just calling to check in about tonight. Um, tonight? J- just a second. It's Mark's friend that asked me out at that thing. What he just is just now calling me out. Um, I didn't realize we were still on for that. Oh, well, at the bar we said Thursday, dinner, right? Right. You know, I, I haven't heard from you since, so... That's because we set the date, so I figured, you know... I guess where I'm from, guys, you know, call the day before to confirm a time and place. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, maybe it's just a Midwest etiquette thing. Anyway, you know, it's 5.30 p.m. day of now, so... Yeah, so wait, are you saying you already have plans? N- not exactly. I- I'm just hanging out with my friend Tiffany now. I thought we were going to see Titanic 3D. Shh, shut up. Okay. Um, so what did you have in mind? I thought maybe we could just meet up at Ray's. That's more of like a breakfast place, isn't it? Mm, no. No, they have a full menu. Serve all the meals, as far as I know. No, yeah, I just mean like, it's a diner, right? It's a diner in the sense that they have big menus and booths. Is that a bad thing? Are diners a bad thing? No, I mean just, you know, if this is like a date. Is there a place that you'd like to try? I mean, I'd love to try someplace new if you have any favorite restaurants, you know, for dinner. Papa Pavoni's on 8th. Have you been there? They have a really, they have a killer chicken parm. Oh, no, I haven't. Let me yelp it. Yelp, Yelp it up. That's just west of Finley, right? No, actually, Finley runs uh, east-west. Wait, but Finley crosses 8th. No, because all the uh, numbered streets go east-west, so. <sighs> just, you know, let's just see what the Yelp thing says. Oh, 2.5 stars. That's not bad. Yeah, actually, that's not great. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to have, like, a Michelin rating or anything. Two people and one guy on the fence really enjoyed themselves. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. I, so, am I in speaker? How about some Korean barbecue? I can't. I'm vegan. The Giving Tree Cafe. It's four out of five stars. So, boom. The owners donated money to Yes on Prop 8. Homophobic vegans? Maybe you could throw out a place just since you have more limitations than I do. I'm sorry. Is my moral obligation to not support hate a limitation? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, you're talking to the guy who eats at breakfast places for dinner, so I don't know anything. Uh, yeah, da, 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 what about da, 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 General da. Ruffage Salad Company? <laughs> Did you say General Ruffage? Is that for serious? Yeah, what's so funny? That's the name of the restaurant. Oh, you know what? Um, actually, hold on. I, I'm going to pass on that. Why? I just, I'm, I'm kind of, a, I'm a big meat eater. I think it would be, I, I just like to have more options. I see, right, so, see, I'm still on speaker. Tiffany, do you have any ideas? You seem to want to chime in. Okay, listen, guy, okay, I'm sorry you called me like 10 minutes before dinner and now are upset I don't want to go with you to some gross, cheap diner. Just hang up! You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I think I agree with Tiffany on this one. You're off the hook. I'm gonna cruise. <laughs>